Welcome back, true believers, and all you spectacular Spidey fans, to another very exciting Miles Morales related video. And I know it has been quite a while since I've actually been able to say those words and actually do a video for the channel in general, but the fact of the matter is that there hasn't really been a whole lot of news relating to either this game, Spider-Man PS4, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, or just Marvel game stuff in general. However, on the subject of Marvel games, I will be doing a live stream of the upcoming Hawkeye DLC set forth for Marvel's Avengers on March 18th on my channel, live on stream, which will be fun if you guys want to interact with me and just hang out and see whether or not the DLC is actually worth your time. Not money, because it is free. And there is also going to be the March 18th Square Enix Presents presentation, where they are going to showcase some new element of Marvel's Avengers. Is that Spider-Man finally revealed to be in the game with a playable character showcase, since we do know he's going to be a PlayStation exclusive character? Is it going to be a roadmap? Is it going to be some new content relating to possibly cloning labs or something like that? We have no idea, but if something exciting or at least interesting intriguing does happen, I will make sure to keep my reaction live recorded, so that way if anything does happen, I can post it on the channel for you guys to see. But, with all that out of the way, the main news that we are discussing for today is in fact relating to the one and only Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, if you are unaware, the game did release, of course, in November of 2020, both on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Now, the reason why that's so important is because it was mainly promoted as the core premiere launch title for the PlayStation 5. Even though it was a cross-generation game, it was still showcased as one of the main games that you, as a consumer, need to play on next gen and me specifically as well i still currently do not own a playstation 5 i played miles morales on my ps4 pro looked and ran amazingly well but you know that the definitive experience of diving into that world of marvel's new york and those characters and specifically having the feeling of being spider-man is most likely the case on the PlayStation 5 where it is enhanced to the nth degree with the DualSense controller, 3D audio, enhanced visuals, ray tracing, all that great stuff, and how it is tailor-made specifically for the PlayStation 5 for both Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is the definitive way to play these games. Now, even though you can play them on your PlayStation 4, the main consumer base really wanted to play the game specifically on next gen, which is where the sales figures come in for the game. And in case you don't know, it was previously reported that Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales as a whole, both on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles in total, did sell up to over 4 million copies by the time December 2020 came to pass. And to put things into a better perspective, we do have some analytical figures from a gaming journalist veteran financial reporter on Twitter of Benji Sales, where he did go on to describe Spider-Man Miles Morales has been in the top four overall best-selling games of the month in the United States for every month since launch, where in November and January it was placed in third place, and in December of 2020 and February of 2021 it was placed in fourth place, claiming that Spider-Man Miles Morales is continuing to make waves within sales and overall fan reception. Now while those are pretty substantial sales figures to be occurring for a character like Miles Morales within the United States, there has been some clarification on this front within sales in the United Kingdom, indicating that Spider-Man Miles Morales scores its first number one spot as PlayStation 5 stock levels improve. Now the main reason why I find this information so intriguing and extremely important in the first place is because once again, Miles Morales is a fully cross-generation game which can be played either on your base PlayStation 4, your PlayStation 4 Pro, or your brand new PlayStation 5 if you were able to acquire the console. And even though it has been calculated that the majority of gamers still currently own more PlayStation 4s than PlayStation 5s, since it is pretty hard to acquire a brand new console with the limited amount of stock that it does have with online and in-store retailers, the Spider-Man Miles Morales game itself has actually sold better on the PlayStation 5 rather than that of the PlayStation 4. And to read the article directly, which was written by Christopher Drang, who is the head of Games B2B, did specifically iterate that Spider-Man Miles Morales has claimed the UK top spot for the first time since its launch in November. Although also available on PS4, the superhero game has become the PlayStation 5's best-selling launch title in 
terms of physical sales. Even if you remove the sales of the PlayStation 4 version for this week alone, it would still have been placed in the number one spot. And with a statistic which I find extremely surprising is that the PlayStation 5 version of Spider-Man Miles Morales was accounted for 90% of the game's sales for this week. The game's box sales increased 36% week on week, as even more PS5 stock came into market. And while there are still plenty of people struggling to acquire the console, the article does indicate that PlayStation 5 stock levels have improved significantly through February and early March. Although on the other side, which might be considered as a con for particular consumers, is that the PlayStation 5 console itself still immediately sells out every time more units arrive. So not only does this directly imply that the PlayStation 5 console is one of the fastest selling consoles to ever hit the market within the gaming industry, but out of all the other titles that people are purchasing to go alongside their new console, they're directly choosing Spider-Man Miles Morales. And as this chart fully displays, we do have the top 10 best selling games within the UK alone within last week and this week, starting with Ring Fit Adventure, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Grand Theft Auto 5, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Minecraft on Nintendo Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, and at the number one spot for this week alone is in fact Spider-Man Miles Morales. So basically, all in all everyone, to sum it up, Miles Morales is doing fantastic for a solo standalone spin-off game which directly relates to a character who hasn't been around within the Marvel Comics universe for a full decade yet since by the time he was created was in 2011, it's currently 2021, so we are slowly approaching the 10 year anniversary of Miles Morales' birth pretty much, but the fact that this game has done so well, specifically with a character in the comics, who is still seen as a bit rather obscure, even though of course he is beloved in Into the Spider-Verse and of course his own game, and by comic fans around the world, it's crazy to see the amount of legs that this game has, just like the tweet that Benji Sales brought up, is that even though Miles Morales launched back in November of 2020, it still is reviewing and selling incredibly well amongst fans and critics alike, and the sales are only doing the game even more justice. At first, there wasn't a whole lot of sales data provided about the game to fully clarify whether or not it was seen as a financial flop or a success, but considering everything I just said, it's a standalone spinoff game about a character who isn't as well known as Peter Parker, it's shorter, it's not a full sequel, it is a cross-gen game, so people may want to hold off purchasing it before they get the new console to play it on that specific platform instead of buying it on their current platform of the PS4. There are a lot of factors to dive into within this game, but based on these numbers alone and the statistics that we have been provided with these separate articles, it definitely looks like Miles Morales has turned a profit, of course, but I do think based on the type of game it is, it is actually done better than expected. Because as it currently stands, we are well aware that Spider-Man PS4 at the time of this recording has sold, of course, over 20 million copies worldwide, making it the highest selling superhero game within United States history, and of course the highest selling PlayStation exclusive of all time. Now of course, Miles Morales would never have reached those numbers, but seeing that it is still doing a relatively good job in the market regardless, is just just a wonderful sight to see, especially since of course us as fans want to see more of this universe expand, we want to see more of Insomniac's take on all these unique and iconic characters within the Marvel Universe, how they plan to expand the Spider-Man lore going forward with the official sequel, and of course seeing how that is going to affect the game's progress leading into next gen. We're still relatively early within the next gen life cycle, but by the time of course Marvel's Spider-Man 2 inevitably releases, that game will surely only be an exclusive game for the PlayStation 5. I'm sure a lot of you would want to play it on the PS4 since you're not able to have a PS5, but even though in my shoes, think of it like this, I do not have a PS5, but if the game were to be made on the best console and hardware possible, that way we would in turn receive the best possible experience for the game ever made. It, the same hat thing occurred for, of course, Spider-Man exclusively on PS4 with the technology that we had at the time. Miles was the first stepping stone into that being cross-gen where we can see what the PS5 can do, 
but it's still limited by the constraints of the PlayStation 4 hardware. Once the official sequel comes out and it can just go buck wild on the entire system and mainframe that the PlayStation 5 has to offer for the developers over at Insomniac Marvel and PlayStation, it's going to be a true treasure to see exactly what a complete next generation Spider-Man experience can have in store. But with all that said, everyone, that is the main video that I have for you today. I just want to give you a status update on the overall sales and current situation regarding Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is a great game. Play it if you haven't already, which if you watch this channel, I'm sure you have. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think that the sales that Miles Morales has gained as of right now is still too low or could be a bit higher or maybe did better than you personally expected. I think right now it's doing a great job. It's actually doing a huge benefit and service to the PlayStation 5 platform, wanting to get more people invested to purchase the new hardware, seeing what other types of games the system can offer for gamers, and maybe expand their horizons for other games they may have not usually played if they had not received a PlayStation 5 in the first place because of buying it at launch thanks to Spider-Man, both Miles and the remaster with Peter Parker. Um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd enjoy. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, again, stay tuned for the live stream in about like two days from now on March 18th where we're going to do Hawkeye and possibly react to the Square Enix stuff. Whether or not it will be good, we will see. Fingers crossed. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.